One week from tonight, we will know where Michael Porter Jr. will begin his NBA career. The former Mizzou Tiger and father Tolton Star is still projected a top 10 pick despite another setback today. MPJ has canceled a workout scheduled for his second pro day in Chicago tomorrow due to a strained hip. Sources tell ESPN that he couldn't get out of bed today because of muscle spasms. Porter Jr. had an MRI and would be reevaluated tonight. MPJ missed almost his entire freshman season at Mizzou after undergoing back surgery. And despite all of this, his draft stock has actually been rising lately. Porter Jr. could go as high as number two to the Sacramento Kings. He's not expected to fall past number seven to the Chicago Bulls. The NBA draft is set for next Thursday night, June 21st. Jefferson City Renegades baseball Vivian Field tonight. J.C. trailing Chillicothe, the Mudcats 1-0 in Mink League play second inning. Christian Rodriguez doubles to right. In comes J.D. Reese, the former Boonville Pirate, current Columbia College Cougar. He had doubled earlier, tie game 1-1, but the Mudcats would score six runs here in the fourth inning. Chillicothe goes on to win it big, 11-1 over the Renegade. Great turnout for the Boone County Community Prayer Breakfast this morning. Over 30 Columbia area churches were represented. Keynote speaker Matt Gordon from Veterans United. $4,000 raised for a local organization, Love Inc. It was my privilege to MC the prayer breakfast. And a special ceremony at Jefferson City High School's Adkins Stadium tonight honoring Lorraine Adkins, the wife of the legendary coach Pete Adkins. A new monument. Coach, his son Terry Adkins, grandson Blake, had the honors of unveiling that monument. Lorraine passed away just over a year ago. This week she would have turned 90 years old, celebrated a 70th wedding anniversary. Lorraine was a great advocate for local veterans through Operation Bugle Boy and Reeves for Heroes and an incredibly supportive coach's wife. I thought it was really great they were going to do it for Lorraine, you know. She deserved it. So that's the way it turned out. It was great, and uh, and I know my family loves it. Coach put so much time in. She was the one holding the fort down at home. And also, you know, every once in a while somebody had to keep him in check. She was always so gracious, always so welcoming. She always knew who you were. And there's this woman up in the stands, you know, that that's kind of watching over everything. And uh, it just meant everything that she gave us, this man. Because really, Pete worked 14, 15 hours a day, and so we kind of felt like that you know she loaned him to us and he kind of molded us and shaped us into the guys we are today and I was honored to serve as MC tonight for Lorraine's special tribute